Hi everybody, Rob here from Pariah Studios and welcome to this new tutorial or quick tip uh, which as you can probably work out is also the first done in R17 um, which I've been using for a while now and I love um, I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of that now because this is all about constraint tags uh, but not actually using a constraint tag on a character but to show you how you can utilise them to do kind of fun stuff and uh, if you're a follower of my blog you probably saw I, um, I gave away a free uh, scene file of a, a bb8 style droid uh, which was created using this technique so all i've got here is a, a simple sphere and what i want to do to it is i want to be able to kind of stick things to the surface uh, in a automatic kind of way without having to kind of find the right point and line everything up so what i'm going to use is a, a cylinder uh, and i'm going to just resize the cylinder just, just a little bit and what i'll do is just drag it over here so we can see it so we've got our cylinder, it could be anything it's stuck to anything. So this could be like a landscape with rocks and grass and all, all sorts. And this would be the grass blade. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to add the tag to our cylinder. So if we right click on our cylinder and go to character tags, you can just see the second option there is constraint. And at first it doesn't really do anything. Uh, and we have lots of different kinds of constraints that this tag can operate. Uh, for this, we want to use a clamp because we want to be able to clamp this to a certain attribute of our sphere. So let's choose clamp. And we need to put the sphere as our target object because that's what we want to clamp it to. You can obviously add more here. You can add more targets if you want to. And we want to not clamp it to the origin because that would snap it right into the center. We want to snap it to the surface. Now let's just see where that's gone. So we should be able to see we've got a bit of an odd distance going on here and that's okay. It's not actually clamped this cylinder to the, the, the object itself because we've got this distance control. But we can fix that just by taking the slider which it defaults to various kind of random numbers. Uh, just ignore it and drag it back to zero. And you can also see that really we want it to kind of stand on its end. So all we do here is we change not the align because we know that the, the Y axis is up for us. And what we actually want to do is change um, the as. So we want to align the Y as a normal. So that will take the point uh, or the kind of the average of these, uh, these polygons uh, and the normal of those um, to line up the y-axis. Now you can see this actually looks a bit odd uh, and as we drag this we won't be able to drag it in the, the y-axis because that's what this distance control is for. Um, but if we drag it around it kind of flips itself as it goes to various different polygons and points uh, and it works but it's not quite smooth. So what you can do is change this to fong normal and this will take the information from your fong tag and now this will much more smoothly rotate around your object. Uh, of course, you could add more segments to this sphere as well, which would do the same thing. Now, what's pretty cool about this is that because this is working from a tag, um, you couldn't necessarily use a, a MoGraph cloner, although that works in different ways for a similar result. And what you can do is you can just hit uh, the same as you would in any other situation, control, click and drag, and you get another one, which you can just place around wherever you need it. And you know that as you click and drag it's always going to stay constrained to the surface of the object and let's just do another one so you can drag another one like this and you know these are always going to be here and they're always going to face directly away from that sphere so that's been a, a very short quick tip but hopefully it's quite useful uh, obviously you could take these and for each different one if you wanted them to be sticking out slightly further you could either change the the kind of the Y scale of the object or you could change the distance here so if you want them to all float around now you can see I've got all of the tags selected there I just keep that one tag I could change that one item so hopefully you'll find some interesting ways to use that it's uh, quite a cool little tool I used it to stick the head of the droid um, with a target tag so that it always stayed you know kind of facing upright and also facing the center of the the, the body um, for the droid. Um, but anyway, I hope that's been a nice use, and I'll see you all again in the next quick tip video. Also, check on my YouTube channel uh, over the next few weeks. I'm going to be doing some videos on the new features of 
um, R17, such as the takes and the, the new spline working tools, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and I'll see you there. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.